Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, friends of Japanese prints and modern prints and contemporary prints and good and excellent art prints. Welcome for another edition of the video productions by Artelino.com. Artelino, that's my small family company located in Bavaria, in southern Bavaria, in a rural area in southern Germany. And by the way, my name is Dieter, in case you should not yet know me, and I'm the owner of this little company. And since 2001, that means now for 20 years, we've sold thousands, thousands, mainly of Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions. In this video, I want to present this wonderful, well, nude print, nude portrait by uh, a painter and famous and leading printmaker with the name of Paul Binney. I repeat, Paul Binney, born 1967 in Scotland. The title of this print, Hiroshige no Ido, and it was designed by Paul in 2015. It shows um, a shoulder or back tattoo and this tattoo is reminiscent of a master of old ukiyo-e, of old Japanese prints uh, from the 19th century. His name Ando Hiroshige, famous master especially for Japanese landscape prints and the eagle and the subject of this bridge this bridge is taken from a famous series by Ando Hiroshige, The Hundred Views of Edo. The mini print itself is also part of a series, uh, a series that Paul started many, many, many years ago. And um, the title of this series is Hundred Shades of Ink of Edo. And so far, Paul has not yet finished Hundred. I don't know if he has this ambition. Um, maybe. And um, the edition size is hundred, and the size is. It's called dai oban in Japanese, and collectors of Japanese prints know this expression. Dai oban is a little bit larger than oban. These are kind of standard sizes. This is something like 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 this. And the advantage is it can be shipped well on the internet. The precise size of uh, Hiroshige no Ido is 39 centimeters by 26.6 centimeters. If you want to know the size in inches, uh, please go to our current website, current auction, uh, our auction catalog. There we have a very, very detailed description. We also know the name of this model, well, her first name only, of course, her name is Akiko. And uh, she's the same model that Paul used for another design uh, from 2004. And that is also a famous uh, print by Paul. The title of this print from 2004 is Veranda. And uh, it was commissioned by a well-known collector and dealer in Japanese prints by Eric van den Ing. Well, this print from 2004, Veranda, not to misunderstand it. Well, this one, not. Why am I explaining this? Because um, Binny has a concept of often making two different versions um, of a print design. Uh, one version without a tattoo and one with a tattoo. Uh, that is quite smart. First of all, he targets different tastes of collectors, you can say. And the other thing is, when Paul creates um, a woodblock print, it's always very costly for him. Why? Uh, Paul works like these old Shinanga artists that he admires, by the way, very, very much. He looks like Hazui or Hiroshi Yoshida, and they never took photographs and then um, made a woodblock print from a photograph. They sketched 
directly from the object, from the subject. And so also Paul Binney, when he makes a, a, a portrait or a, 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 a nude uh, print design, he works with real models. When he makes a landscape prints, he goes to the spot and therefore it's always rather costly. But by making two different versions, he can um, reduce the costs a little bit or separate it over two different designs. Usually a woodblock print design by Paul has an edition size of 100 and also Hiroshige no Ido has an edition size of 100. Okay, so far, now in the next step, I want to talk a little bit um, about these images taken from a very famous Hiroshige uh, print design by the great master Ando Hiroshige. Let me show them. Well, here you see the eagle. Now let's compare it. Let's compare it with the tattoo design. Yeah, you see? Okay, this is where Paul took, let's say, uh, the, the idea. And the other one is, it's one of the most famous prints um, of Japanese prints of the 19th century. And so this design is also one of the most famous if it comes to the market as an original. Then it has a price of something like 50,000. Why? Because the originals do not exist any um, more. You see the bridge, the eagle, and now compare it with this shoulder and back design. Uh, 100 views of Edo is regarded as the best and the most famous series by Ando Hiroshige and it was created shortly before his, his death. And this series, it influenced very much the French post-impressionists like Gauguin, Toulouse, Lautrec or Van Gogh. And something that is funny, or title of the series, 100 views of Edo. Edo is the old name for what today is Tokyo. 100 views of Edo. Um, the title is fraudulent. It's deceit. It exists of 118 designs plus a title page. And by the way, um, one design was done by his successor uh, and son-in-law Hiroshige II um, due to the passing away of the, the master. And uh, these designs of this original series by Ando Hiroshige, by the way, they represent the four seasons. Enough um, with Ando Hiroshige. Now I should um, talk a little bit who is Paul Binney in case you are not familiar with art and you are an absolute newbie to Japanese woodblock prints and may never have heard this name. Paul Binney, I uh, said it before, born 1967 in Scotland and after his, um, his, his studies in, in Edinburgh and somewhere else in Scotland, he went to Paris and there he got to know Japanese woodblock prints and he was fascinated. So he decided to go to Tokyo, to Japan, to learn woodblock printmaking the old classical way. And he wanted to be trained by Toshi Yoshida, a master um, of the so-called Shinhanga art movement. But Toshi Yoshida at that time, he did not take any students anymore. He was already too sick while well, he had cancer, but he recommended Paul Bini to Seiki Senji. And Seiki Senji, um, a perfect, an excellent carver. And there, uh, Paul Bini learned really how to make woodblock prints to perfection. Paul Bini later reported, he also wrote that down uh, he, he reported about his, his time in, in Tokyo of nearly six years and he called it his, his, his apprenticeship. And um, well, 
Well, he told us how they worked. It, it must have been absolutely crazy. Yeah, he said we worked day and night, um, woodblock printmaking and also other um, techniques. And after nearly six years, he came back. And today, Paul Benny, he is a worldwide famous printmaker specialized in woodblock printmaking, the old Japanese uh, way. And Paul Benny's prints are today in the British Museum, in the MoMA Museum of Modern Art in New York. Um, so when you have your artworks in such museums, you've really made it. Paul Benny is the leading printmaker for Japanese prints today. Well, um, we've come to the end, but before uh, I close this video. I have a little bit of a secret to you. So come a little bit closer. The secret is the following. In the coming weeks and months ahead, the Ortolino auctions will show many, many prints by Paul Binney. So if you like Paul Binney and who does not like him and you collect Paul Binney, you must definitely take a look at our auctions in the coming weeks and the coming month. And one more word, the Paul Binney prints uh, that you can see there, they are all first hand. Okay, got the message? Well, then thanks for watching today and have a good time. Goodbye.